A SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket will soon be taking a historic US-European satellite into orbit. And the data from this mission could be a game changer in capturing the most accurate data yet on how human-caused climate change has affected our seas. An important scientific question that we have is the separation of natural sea level change versus anthropogenic. There's been a number of papers that have come out that have discussed the emergence of that forced or anthropogenic signal in the altimeter data that's still up for some debate. So with this longer record, we're gonna be able to better understand and provide a better view of what um, long-term sea level rise might be and how it's expressed in the satellite data. For nearly 30 years, a host of US European satellites have been working together to gather climate data, which has been instrumental in tracking big changes in climate phenomena, like El Nino or monitoring ocean features like the Gulf Stream. But these satellites couldn't capture the tiny changes in these environments. And this is where Sentinel-6 mission comes in. It's part of the EU's Copernicus program, the world's largest Earth monitoring system, which has worked to measure the environment and the role human-caused climate change is having on it. The mission is made up of two identical satellites, Sentinel-6 Michael Freilich, which takes off in November 2020, and Sentinel-6B that launches in 2025. It's an international effort between NASA, the European Space Agency, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the European Organization for the Exploitation of Meteorological Satellites, and France's National Center for Space Studies. During its roughly five and a half year endeavor, the satellite will map more than 90% of our oceans down to a few centimeters every 10 days. These measurements will be of high resolution sea level variations. The mission will also monitor atmospheric temperature and humidity, which will improve weather forecasts. So the longer the record, the better chance we have of separating out the different processes and the contributions of those processes to sea level. One focus area for satellite Sentinel-6 Michael Freilich will be coastal cities and the risk of flooding. Because based on current estimates, places like the southern tip of Manhattan could flood between 20 to 40 times a year by the 2030s. And that rate of flooding could more than double that by 2100. So having precise, uninterrupted data is crucial, especially since global sea levels, on average, have risen by 3.2 millimeters per year since the 1990s. And I know, it's just three millimeters. That's tiny. How can that have such a big effect? Well, turns out an annual three millimeter sea level rise is huge. If we look at one millimeter of sea level rise, globally, it's about 100 trillion gallons of water for one millimeter of sea level rise. So if you adjust that, then we have about 300 trillion gallons of water that increases from year to year. So it's really an incredible amount of water that we're talking about. So to gather this crucial data, the spacecraft has a suite of next generation instruments, starting with its radar altimeter, which will measure sea surface properties like wave height and wind speeds. The altimeter will work in tandem with a microwave radiometer to account for the water vapor's levels. While those tools will focus on capturing sea level data, another instrument will focus on recording tiny changes in Earth's atmosphere. Using a technique called radio occultation, it will collect data on global temperature and humidity rates. And finally, the last three instruments will help to exactly locate the spacecraft in orbit. One of the major and most exciting improvements from the past missions is the reduced latency and data delivery times of the altimeter data. It's expected to be accessible within three hours of collection, providing some near real-time applications. So what can we expect on launch day? The Sentinel-6 Michael Freilich will hitch a ride on SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California in November 2020. From there, the rocket will make its way into orbit and release the satellite at an altitude of about 1,300 kilometers, where it will begin its journey to help us in better understanding our changing world that's happening now. So a lot of times we think about sea level rise and, and coastal flooding as a future problem, but for coastlines around the world, we're already seeing the effects of sea level rise. So it's a now problem, it's not really a future problem. So it's critical that we, we make steps to improve our scientific understanding and certainly the satellite plays a big role in that. For more rocket launches, check out our Countdown to Launch series here. And if there are any other launches that you'd like to see us cover, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.